nice, but the computer teacher suddenly gave us homework. What about you? Hi, sir. Hi. Hey, why are you so quiet? How was your drama practice? During the recess, my friend Yash started telling a story. It was so funny that everyone started laughing and shouting. We could not hear the bell. When the teacher entered, the whole class was in a mess. That made her very, very angry. Her face turned red and her voice rose. She cancelled our drama practice. I hope we are able to practice tomorrow. And the worst thing is she gave a lot of homework to us. If all of you complete your homework and behave yourselves, she may allow you tomorrow. Yes, we will do that. I'll get up early in the morning so that I can finish the homework. That's the spirit. Now cheer up. You should not remain sad for long. Soham was feeling sad, wasn't he? He said that his teacher was angry. What do you do when you're feeling happy, sad, angry, bored, scared? We generally call them our feelings and emotions, don't we? What exactly are they? Feelings and emotions. Feelings. We have the ability to feel. Emotions are felt instinctively and expressed physically. There are two types of emotions. Pleasant and unpleasant. Positive and negative. Desirable and undesirable. Emotions can be measured scientifically as some changes take place even inside our body. For example, feelings like fear, excitement, disappointment make changes in our heartbeats and blood pressure. It is very important to identify, understand and control our feelings. You may remember your parents telling you to count till 10 to get out of the fit of anger. Remaining quiet, doing something you like, it helps a person to calm down. It is interesting that even animals, birds and plants too feel emotions and they do express them in their own way. Shruti and Savni are studying together. Shruti has a glass of water in her hand. She accidentally spills it on Savni's notebook and looks at her uncomfortably. Shruti glanced uncomfortably at Savni. She knew it was her fault. This feeling is guilt. The students think highly of their teacher. This feeling is admiration. Can you identify the feelings expressed in these situations? Her son is going to get the bravery award this year. She is on the top of the world. Happiness. She had to leave the town for some urgent work. With a lump in throat, she left her baby with her neighbours. This is sadness. He absolutely dislikes getting up early in winters. Hatred. Now, I would like to draw your attention to another point. Remember what Shruti told Soham? If all of you complete the homework and behave yourselves, she may allow you tomorrow. Why is the word may used here? Because it indicates possibility. It is a modal verb. Let us see what modal verbs are. Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs, also called as helping verbs, like may, can, will, could, shall, must, would, might and should. After a modal verb, the root form of a verb is generally used. The word to should not appear after a modal verb. An exception is the phrase ought to which is considered a modal verb. Modal verbs are important because they add meaning to the main verb in a sentence by expressing many things such as possibility, ability, permission, obligation, 
requests offers invitations and many more however we will concentrate only on four functions of the modal verbs in this unit possibility it is raining heavily today they may be bored sitting at home this girl is a new student in our class she might feel lonely if we don't study we could fail he may come walking today ability she can cook a variety of dishes he can run like the wind they can't sing very well permission can i drink water please can we stop now a more polite way could i drink water please could we stop now may is another more formal and polite way of asking for permission may i drink water please may we stop now obligation we use must or need to say that it is necessary to do something you must follow the traffic rules everybody needs to wear a mask while going out let us take a look at their homework you may be able to help them we have already learned what collocations mean in the previous units the following are some collocations which express how you feel the following sentences express different feelings admiration fear sadness guilt happiness hatred my heart leaped when i saw a mail from my friend happiness i know i was unkind to my friend and it has been weighing on my consciousness guilt i have high regard for my teachers admiration when i saw the rock which we had to climb my courage failed me fear it was with a very heavy heart that i decided to leave my parents and go overseas for further studies sadness when i heard that i had got a job i was thrilled to bits happiness he had an intense dislike of any form of exercise hatred we were blissfully thrilled with our new house happiness she expressed her profound respect for the covid-19 health workers admiration i was scared stiff that my mother would notice the damage i made to the carpet fear what did we learn feelings and emotions feelings we have the ability to feel emotions are felt instinctively and expressed physically they can be measured scientifically as some changes happen even inside our body it is very important to identify understand and control our feelings plants and animals also have feelings modal verbs modal verbs are auxiliary verbs also called helping verbs like can will could shall must would might and should the root form of a verb is generally used after a modal verb modal verbs are important because they add meaning to the main verb in a sentence by expressing many things such as possibility ability permission or obligation requests offers invitations and many more exercise read the following sentences how would you feel if dash choose the right word from the list below you may refer to a good dictionary if you do not understand the meaning of some words extremely sad exhausted annoyed upset over the moon anxious excited confused embarrassed proud 
everyone forgot your birthday you have an important test tomorrow you had just finished running 10 kilometers everyone asked you for your advice it has just been declared that you have won the sa competition you bought a bicycle and it broke down the next day your grandfather who was 90 years old passed away due to old age Your summer holidays will start from tomorrow and you are going to visit your uncle in Gujarat. You could not solve the problem though you are very good at maths. You were supposed to attend the class but you completely forgot about it. Fill in the blanks with the following. Can, may or might or could. I don't know where my pen is. it dash b in the box the boy is generally quiet but dash b naughty sometimes the villagers were very hard working but they dash not save enough money when she was young she dash walk much faster activity this is the last sentence of a story I will never forget this incident. That was the scariest experience I had. Think about an incident when you experienced the greatest fright. Narrate it in about 200 words. You can plan it this way. When did it happen? Who was involved? Why was it so frightening? Describe your feelings at that time. What kind of physical changes took place with this utmost fearful moment? How did you deal with it? Who helped you to overcome it? You may refer to our video writing about an incident.